Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a radical equation. In other words, we're going to be dealing with polynomials. We are given that x plus square root of x is equal to 3, and we're supposed to evaluate, find a numerical value for x squared minus 7x. Okay? I'll be presenting, I think, at these two methods, and let's see how that goes. And let's start with the first method. So for my first method, you've probably seen similar problems before. We are going to solve this equation. And this equation can be solved in different ways, one of which is isolating the radical, squaring both sides, and turning this into a quadratic equation. Let's go ahead and do that first method under the first method. So it's kind of like a 1a, and then we'll do a 1b. It would be nice if you could do a 2b, but we've done it already in another video. So let's not overdo it. So the first method that I'm going to or the sub-method that I'm going to follow here is isolating the square root of x and then squaring both sides. If you square this, you get x equals 9 plus x squared minus 6x. And if you put everything on the same side, you get x squared minus 7x plus 9 equals 0. Now, this quadratic equation has two solutions, and they are both real, which is good. So x can be written as negative b plus minus, remember the quadratic formula, the square root of b squared, which is 49, minus 4ac, which is 36. And this is going to give us the square root of a prime number, which is good. So x can be written as 7 plus minus the square root of 13 divided by 2. There are two solutions. Which one are we going to use? Because we're supposed to evaluate a numerical expression and it's supposed to have a single value, right? This is obviously not multi-valued, right? Like complex numbers. So let's go ahead and use the more positive one, 7 plus root 13 over 2, and you can kind of test the other one. Now what I'm supposed to evaluate? x squared minus 7x. So let's go ahead and find out what x squared is. x squared is going to be 7 plus root 13 over 2 to the second power. So we're going to square the numerator, right? It's going to give us a plus b quantity squared, is going to be a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. That's how I usually do these things. You can do it differently, but I like to put the squ squares together. Divided by 2 squared, which is 4. Now, we're going to go ahead and combine 49 and 60. I mean, 62? Yeah, that's what it is. So it's going to give us 62 plus 14 root 13 divided by 14. We can simplify this. Divide the top and the bottom by 2. That's going to give you 31 plus 7 root 13 over 7. Awesome. Obviously, you can write this differently too if you want it, like 31 over 7 plus root 13. This might be a little helpful because we're going to be plugging it into this expression, which is x squared minus 7x. So x squared minus 7x is going to be, first write the x squared, and then from that, subtract... 7x. What is x though? <laughs> x is this right here. 7 plus root 13 over 2. And again, you can write this as 7. Well, I guess I'm going to keep it like that. And But this is supposed to be multiplied by 7, right? Awesome. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, we, we're going to, let's do the following. Why don't we just separate this and write it as 7 halves plus root 13 over 2, right? That's what it is. And then from here, we're going to get the following. First of all, uh, we, we are going to, um, let me see, we're going to go ahead and subtract these. Let's see. Uh, let me check my work because it looks like I made a mistake. That's a 62. That's a 4. Oh, okay. That's not a 14. That's a 4. I see where it is. I don't know why I wrote a 14. There. That's supposed to be a 4. There you go. And then let's go ahead and fix the rest. So from here, we're going to get the following, we can simplify this again, 31 plus 7 root 13 over 2. And now we're going to do is x squared minus 7x, and that's going to give me 31 plus 7 root 13 over 2 minus 7 times x, which is 49 plus 7 root 13 over 2. I just multiply the numerator by 7. That's all you have to do, right? Since they have the same denominator, I can just go ahead and subtract directly. 31 plus 7 root 13 minus 49 
minus 7 root 13 all over 2. And now 7 root 13 is going to cancel out. And 31 minus 49 is negative 18. And negative 18 divided by 2 is just going to be negative 9. So the answer will be negative 9. Make sense? Okay, great. Let's go ahead and see how we can do this with another method, which is the second method. Obviously, this is not the best way to do it, but at least it works. x plus root th x is equal to 3. Now, you got to be careful. And oh, I told you that I was going to solve this equation a little differently. So kind of like a 1b method is this way. You can go ahead and set square root of x equal to t and write this as t squared plus t minus 3 equals 0. I put the 3 on the left-hand side. And then solve for t, but then you kind of have to square both sides to find x. It's going to be the same thing. You can go ahead and test it out. It should give you the same answer. But I like the squaring uh, both sides better because we don't have to deal with substitution. It gives us the x directly. Now, here's how the second method works. We're going to go ahead and try to find x squared minus 7x without finding the x values. That's going to be the cool part about this, right? So let's go ahead and do this. Again, we're going to isolate square root of x, write it as follows, and then square both sides. Yes, this part is the same, but we'll continue differently. We're going to isolate, okay, I'm kind of like rushing through this, take your time. Okay, this is x. When you square square root of x, you get x. Now I'm going to isolate x squared. So I can go ahead and add 6x to both sides and subtract 9. So x squared is going to be 7x minus 9 from here. Awesome. This was quick, right? Now here's what we need to do. Okay, let me explain what I did because it's, this probably didn't make much sense. So let me go ahead and do it again. So here's what we did. I took this equation, the first one, the top one, and isolate square root of x. So x plus root x is equal to 3 isolate square root of x, write it as 3 minus x, and then we square both sides, just like before, but we're not going to find the x values, okay? This gives us x, this gives us 9 plus x squared minus 6x. Here's what I do next. I'm going to add 6x to both sides, plus 6x and plus 6x, they're going to cancel out, and then I get x squared plus 9 is equal to 7x. I switch sides because I want x squared on the left. And then I'm going to subtract 9, and I'll get x squared equals 7x <laughs> minus 9, right? Okay, so what am I going to do with this? I'm supposed to evaluate something. What was that? x squared minus 7x. So you can go ahead and just subtract 7x from both sides, and that'll give you the answer as negative 9 before. You see what I'm saying? All right, great. So that pretty much brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.